the earring always have pains. Pain is an ingredient, ingredient for every effective person. And I always talk about three P's. Pain, participate, and power. Lucky are those who have pain. Lucky are those people who have pains. Lucky are those who have got pains early in life. The luckiest are those who have got it below the belt. If we don't get kicks, we don't learn. All experiences come out of pain. But we need to learn to convert pain into power. Uh, I was inspired by uh, Mrs. Rose Kennedy's sentence. This was in 1963. She was the mother of John F. Kennedy who was assassinated. And I was 15 years old. I read her remark. A journalist had asked, what do you, how do you feel? Your son, the most powerful man in the world, is shot dead. And I, this rings in my ears. Because she's a Christian, she used the word cross. She said, I believe God will not give us a cross heavier than we can bear. Either we survive or we succumb. If we survive, we become a better, broader and more understanding person. So pain is a must. But it is up to me to look at pain. How do I convert pain into power? The leader has to take pain, otherwise it will be. Because there is another event key. <laughs> you also get the glamour. So it's, we often say, a leader rises. It's difficult to rise, but more difficult to stay on top. I think all of you know now. As a principal, you are... Are you alone or you are lonely? What are you? Alone. Yes. Because aloneness is brightness. Loneliness is becoming suicide. <laughs> <laughs> all those who say, at that time I am lonely, I said, then you are supposed to die now. <laughs> That's over. We are supposed to be alone. And aloneness has its own. So I understand. Here, aloneness is not solitary confinement. It is solitude. <laughs> That's what we have to understand. But I often see leaders, how lonely I am. I say, who told you to leave You want this also, you want that also, everything is not happening. Okay. A leader must be an actor, a genuine, a very contradictory statement. I'm asking you to become an actor and a genuine one. But yes, it is true. Because we have to see the bigger picture. Later on, there's another sentence a leader cannot be petty. So I have to see the bigger picture. I may not agree 100%, but I have to take it on me for a larger cause. So therefore, it is acting. But the genuine one, because I am doing it spontaneously for achieving something. A leader must be accepted by the people around us. I think something Mr. Sahani said, when they were going to that village, which uh, Anand, and she insisted on the attire, which is very important. I work a lot in the villages. Uh, there, if I go in suit and all that, nobody is going to connect with me in the first place. We have to be like them. We have to eat like them. We have to talk like them. It's not to say they are inferior. Like just like you go to Buckingham Palace, you cannot go in a lumpy because Queen will not accept you. You have to go in suit. It's both ways. So one thing I'm saying you're going to a village only, all that has to happen. If you have to go there, if you have to go to the White House, or for that matter to Russia with the Bhavan also. You will have to be attired like that. So that is protocol, how we are supposed to. That's what I mean. And a leader should never have only yes men, but negative people around. But the big question is, can you choose your team? None of us. Could you choose your husbands or wives? Can we choose our children? None. We can't choose anything in the world. Whatever is your destiny, sample, you have to live with it. Okay. That is equally true for sister and father also, right? <laughs> huh? Now you wanted to become, now you want to renounce it, but then now whoever you got, what you can do about it? Can you do anything? Whichever school they transfer, you have to go to a father from St. Xavier, he jumped into St. Mary's and into controversy. You have nothing to do with it. All of us know this. You have nothing to do with it. Oh, are was such a happy man and very different. What you can do? You have to do out of the best whatever has happened to you. So in other words, uh, nobody can choose team. Team is given to us, including in offices. Even in your teachers, you could choose. I, I yesterday also I said in this, I had this Dr. Catherine who is the CEO.